Welcome. I'm Laura Rogers, and this is Dr. Tina Bartanian. And uh, Tina and I work together at the Los Angeles County Office of Education. And Tina works in the with the special education programs, court schools, alternative ed, and what else do you that, that pretty much covers it. Yeah. <laughs> She is uh, got her doctorate at University of Southern California and still teaches classes at, at USC. She taught music in Los Angeles County for 18 years and had very successful music programs, award-winning music programs. And she's an expert at what she does and she works very closely with the special education teachers and the court school teachers to help them integrate arts into their program because they can't have a separate arts teacher in those in those programs. So that's um, really kind of where she's been working and what she's been doing. And um, we collaborated from the day I started, which was only eight months ago. But we collaborated collaborated only, almost every single day. She supported my program with the regular schools, and I've supported her program with the with the special education schools. I think she's done more for me than I've done for her. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, she has. So anyway, welcome, Tina. Great, thank okay. you. Oh, um, well, as as uh, Laura had mentioned, is that part of part of my job is uh, with the uh, juvenile courts and camps, and that's that takes, as many of you know, a lot of energy and a lot of thought. And I kind of geared July to um, well, till about the the end of the year. Um, with making, with uh, really working with those teachers. So my favorite time of the year is in preparation for their very special arts festival. So we're going to talk a little bit about what the what how I prepare my teachers for the for working with students with special needs. These, these pictures that we, we put together, this was just last week at at, um, at the very special arts festival. Are we are you familiar with the very special? Okay. So one of the th one of the big joys that I have in in my job, um, where is to actually work with the teachers who work with students that are not that that are not accepted in, in the regular school districts. We are we have, and I actually have some work here for you that have uh, from babies to 22 year olds that have not that are either blind or they're um, from from all diverse needs. And so I wanted to just um, share a little bit with you about about what we do. So um, the very special arts festival. Let me just talk a little bit about that. It's, uh, okay, we could do that. Actually, yeah, okay. that, that's great. So we just we recently had our 32nd annual Very Special Arts Festival, and it was held at the Music Center Plaza. And it is a collaboration between um, the Music Center, LAUSD, uh, and LACO, which is which is us, the Division of Special Education. And it seems so cut and dry there, but it takes it takes a full year to actually do that. So we're actually planning now for next year. So um, it is a magical day. For our students, and I and I and I see that many of you understand that is that it's a day where they're, they're not the they're the they're the stars of the day from the moment they get there and the preparation throughout the year to the actual um, the festival itself. They're doing the performances, they're doing the, the artwork, they're presenting the artwork, um, and uh, they're they're the stars of the event. And what I love about this day is that the students who are not who are not special needs students feel that um, they, they, they don't even realize it's, it's actually a festival for students for special needs. And that's that's the biggest joy that I have is actually the day, and we'll get into that in, um, in a little uh, while. But um, so the, uh, we have artwork displays, photo booths, and um, many different creative things for the children to have hands-on act activities uh, there. So getting to the um, festival, that's that's kind of a fun thing. So, Laura, what do I do on this? I just guess I did Okay. So this is just this is an example of one of, of one of the shows. We have two stages at the music center in the Dorothy Chandler Plaza <coughs> area, and one faces one way, one faces the other. And the students, um, when we talk a little bit about the preparation, they prepare shows based on the on the um, on the arts and. Uh, this uh, photo in particular was, was one of Laura's favorites, but uh, I believe that they were singing um, Do Re Mi, and or the, or the they had a choreographed movement where the paraeducators uh, did somewhat of a dance, and the children were participating as the stars of the event. 
and they felt so wonderful about about being um, the stars of the stage at that time. So that's I, I like that slide. It's really cool to see these kids um, in wheelchairs and they're, some of them barely able to keep their their heads up laughing and enjoying what's going on and understanding that they're participating in this. You know, and I, I come from a, more of an observation point. You've worked more directly with the teachers, but it was just an amazing day. I was feeling very sorry for myself, and I went home going, oh my gosh, you know, my life is so good. So, so this was fun. So we had to put that slide in for you. So um, the planning meetings, one of the, um, that actually starts now. It starts in August, and it's uh, what we do at these planning meetings is uh, it's, it's a collaboration between the three organizations, and we meet to discuss what happened at the festival the last year, what worked, what didn't work. But all of the, the mechanics get discussed, whether it's the buses, the timing, the shows, but most importantly, the theme. And this year's theme was I Love L.A. And uh, I know that in, in different areas, in different counties, we get to choose our own themes. And so we, we, uh, we all agreed on I Love LA was a, was a, was a fun one to uh, work with this year. So the first step for me, uh, and it's actually, it's, it's, it's in a very fun setting. It's in a, and we'll come back to this at the end, but it's in a fun setting. We have an, a luncheon at, at a woman's home, Ms. Cantor, who has had this meeting at her home for 32 years. This has been her vision to have a very special day for these children, and it's just grown every year, and it's 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 quite amazing. It's always been at the same place. Next year we have a change, which is which is uh, a little interesting. So once we find the thing, that's when I get that's when my job gets busy. So I um, I think about the theme and I come up with some lesson plans where we can integrate um, into the uh, into the core. And so what, if you didn't get one of these, you're welcome to take one of these. And what these are are, are K eight lessons, but they can be they can be modified to younger children, to older children, and to um, just to give the teachers an idea of of how we can use the theme in the classroom. Some of my favorite, uh, and you'll see them when we show you some of the artwork. Some of my favorite themes are the ones where the children uh, they made. Uh, a badge, like from the city, a city seal, of the, the things that they love about Los Angeles, and it was. And some of our students are not able to to cut or glue, but they can, you know, put their hand with their with with their paraeducator and put the things they like right on their seal. And it just, you're so proud to see their work, whether it's um, a T-shirt from their favorite sports team or whatever whatever the case is. They um, they really feel that it's part of them because they live in Los Angeles. So that, that's fun. Uh, one of the, so what I do then is I plan uh, professional development activities to not just, not just for these. This is, this is extra. And we, um, Richard Usen is one of the artists that we use every year, we use him every year, and the teachers just love him. And he has, um, he has a very, uh, a long, many, many years, uh, very rich background in, in um, special needs. And what he does is he gives strategies and different ideas, but teaching the teacher as an artist. So when the teacher feels as they're an artist, because as you know, the, the special education teacher has so many other things that they have to do. I mean, granted, great, all classroom teachers do, but but when we're in, in, in um, special education, there's so many different facets, and one more thing to learn it, it would just be it would just be a little overwhelming. So what we do is we, we have a professional day where they actually get to be the, the child, the artist, the and, and leave leave all the professionalism at the door. Even though it is a professional development day, they get to just come in and create. Well, what does it end up being? The most professional day that we're going to have, and it gives them so many tools. And uh, this is one of our trainings. In fact, uh, one of Grace's students, her one of her teachers, actually won the art competition for the county so uh, because of the work that she did there and you'll and you saw on the loop the rubbings that that uh, the children did her children are were they weren't even able to come to actually to the celebration because he he couldn't handle it but um, but he chose the things for for them to do the rubbings on and he chose the colors and it was so beautiful that this, I think the superintendent chose one of one of those for his office so I really um, Again, it's for 
this is my favorite part, it's creating these. So we have, uh, we have two for visual arts, and then this year, we try to make it better every year. This is my fourth year uh, with the county. And I thought, you know, what I'm finding is that when we're on the stage, the children, you know, I, I want to help the teachers to not have the children stress about being on the stage, whether they're in the wheelchairs or in the walkers. I don't want them to get nervous. I want them to have a good time. So what I would try to do is I would teach the teachers, but I'd also try to go to the classrooms and explain to the teachers that it doesn't matter what, get, get the children used to entering from other both sides of the stage and just basic things in theater that we would that we would know as artists but some of our some of our teachers would not but the basics and also you know to wait for the applause and all of these tiny little tips will help will help these students because as you know one small thing it is just so huge for them and it's and it really is so heartwarming and I think we saw it in the festival this year that they were even um, more excited about about um, their participation Yeah, so again, going back to when the theme is decided, we all have our roles. So that mine would be the curriculum development and professional development. But we also have um, the, the logistics of it. And the logistics of that is with the music center, with the facilities, um, and their website. And that's where all of our information goes to their website, because they're actually hosting the event. And um, and it's, pre it's pretty huge, because thousands of, of children. I can't remember how many what was this year. It's over 5,000. Yeah, it's, it's packed. It's, it's, just, it's just a sea of children across the entire, between the two buildings of the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion and the Mark Tabor Farm. I mean, it's just a sea of children and adults and, and paraeducators, and it's amazing. It, it, it's and artwork displayed. And, and one, of the, one, of the, um, one of the largest facets to this is our key, are our, our, our volunteers. And so with the Music Center, they have a guild of women who have also been doing this for about 30 years. And they're trying to get their daughters and families into it. But um, they, they're, they're volunteers who make this all happen as well. And that's and that we'll get to that in a moment with the magic of the day, with how that starts. Um, the, let me see what I wanted to tell you about that one. We have so many diverse needs with our kids that we just have to be able to to adjust it, as you know. So I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the projects that we do, because I believe follow-up is the most important thing when we do when, when we do these, because with our teachers, the not only are, are their artistic levels different, but the children that they're dealing with, we go from autism to, to deaf. Well, you saw the cheerleaders, um, they were hearing impaired, two of them completely deaf, um, and most of them, um, so they were signing with each other, and it was just, it was so beautiful, because you look at the pictures and you see a, a cheerleading squad, but, but we know what it, what it takes to get there. So um, I wanted to share a few of the things that we did. This, uh, when, when we get the theme, I Love LA, one of the, uh, from Fair Valley PAU, there are, uh, uh, they decided to do I Love LA Bling, and they had, and we're in, and they decided to, to put some of their jewelry up, and it's now being housed in the district office, I have to put it up there tomorrow the next day. <laughs> but I, I wanted to bring this piece, um, Claudia, uh, Claudia does, first of all, she's usually on the floor in a tantrum, and she will not be graduating. I think she's, because uh, she'll be in the, our system until she's 22, and she sits to do this, and she put this together. I would buy this. I think it's so beautiful. And, but uh, what they, they, their artwork is, is um, was jewelry, and they, and they put these together. And I, I just chose this piece to show you that this was done by a child who, number one, doesn't doesn't sit still. Number two, sometimes, um, uh, I believe that she, uh, well, she isn't a walker, so that's why sometimes she has to be on the floor, and she and she she never sits still for anything, but she sat still to do this. Oh, how old is she? Uh, she is, I believe, seventeen. Seventeen. Yes. And so, uh, I thought I wanted to bring her work for you. So she was. So their theme was I love L.A. Bling. Um, one of the other ladies that we saw her in there. What she did, and, and this child was actually, I, I went to their classroom, we made 30 of these. And the children, these were, I mean, these were um, severely um, physically uh, challenged students in that classroom. Uh, so we had the help of the paraeducators working with us on, on the plates. So the teacher actually cut these things out for the child who liked pink. And their theme was um, LA City of Angels. 
So we, so there's an angel in each one of the pe art, art pieces that the children get, and we can pass this around. But um, this is just, a, 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 it's called a, a collage, but it's just paper mache. We used starch, and we used, and, and they look so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what were they? Uh, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. These were, mm -hmm. Yes, these were the Dollar Tree plates. Um, the nine nine cent stores. Actually, I like those better. They're a little smaller, but um, they were able. Then they were able to place them, and then it's a sim It's a very simple project for the students, and this is one of the things that, that I teach the teachers. And we can we have a display of about the thirty of them just for this class, and the parents go crazy because what a beautiful gift from their childhood who they didn't think could even really do anything, and they come home from school with with, with this beautiful. Um, project, and and I say that and ex with so much sadness in my heart because a lot of the times I'll see the parents drop their children off because it's what they're supposed to do, thinking that okay, well I have a few hours off. Not all of our parents, but some of our parents in the county, and when they when they see something for for Mother's Day or for or, or for graduation, in one of our sites actually the site this site. Where this girl is, I'm going back and we're taking pictures of all the children and putting their pictures on a frame. And we even do the same activity on a frame. But it's something so simple, but it looks so professional when it hangs up. And I'll I'll show you in a moment that we actually had an, uh, no, um, we all actually had an exhibit of our plates. So this was actually this was last year. This wasn't this wasn't this year when we were uh, trying this out. Some of these were done by teachers. There's an angel there, um, and then. That you know, that's one of the things that our, our special students can do. This mural that was hanging is now hanging at one of our schools. This was done at our emotionally disturbed students at Malaga Cove, which is one of our one of our sites. And what they were what they talked about was how they can uh, what what their surroundings, what did their school look like, what was beautiful about it. And we talked about it. The children uh, drew pictures. What did they want on there? And they. they different things that they see, and they put together this mosaic mural. With, we had a grant last year for, a, uh, I think it was $1,500, and we put that together, and it's now hanging in the school, and it's there, it's there forever. So I love this piece, and, and this is actually at the gallery, but we had over 100 plates at that gallery, so you could turn that around. So if you were able to, one of them, probably the day that I decided that this is my favorite job is when I went to that exhibit, and a neighbor, actually, from my mom's house was there, and the mom said hi to me. And I thought, well, this is very far away, but I didn't even know that she lived there. And Amanda, in little, little by little, she'll be, um, she's passing away day by day, but she's 18 years old now, and she's in a wheelchair, and she has really no, no expression, no facial expression, but her teacher um, helped her, and she had her beautiful plate on display, and when she was there with her whole family at the art exhibit, the most beautiful tear came down from her face, and that's when I decided I've got to make this festival the priority of, of my life because that made I know some of you will see it every day, and I, uh, I my hat's off to you because it's not what I do every day. It's I, I try to be a resource for those people who are doing it. So um, that's so that actually that the day of that event is the day that that happened. And she actually, for this uh, for this festival this year, did a huge fan, and I didn't get a picture of it, so I apologize on that. So the follow-up would be, um, that's what I would do. I would go to the teacher's classrooms. If some of the, the, the work in our curriculum guide, which we can, you know, we'll look at in a moment, uh, if some of this didn't make sense, or, or maybe their students were not um, able to do the bulk of these things, then I would just go and help them choose something else with things that they can do, whether it was music, um, singing, tapping, dancing, whatever, whatever it is, um, then I would help them to get creative so they can, so they can, um, their children would feel really happy as a participant of the arts festival. Um, okay. So, the actual day of the exhibit is really fun, and these again, we just took these last week. Um, the setup, when you get uh, the very first thing that happens, if if it's not three dimensional art. What we do is we uh, we have all of the teachers s send their artwork to one place, and that's that's the um, LAUSD piece of that. We have one site there where we where we house all of our all of the artwork, and then the volunteers, and we're about 50 volunteers. We all get together and map the artwork, 
and so this way, when the children get to the festival, they see they see the display of their of their artwork, and it looks and it looks quite beautiful. And uh, so that's when it starts. And then the actual day of the festival, uh, we get there uh, very very early to set up, and it's just like magic. It goes from nothing in the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion to suddenly there are two stages, and then the next thing you know that there there are all of, all of our artwork display set up table set up, CVS comes in and brings um, some sort of photo booth with, uh, with, with a character, sometimes a Disney character, with, um, and the children um, are able to do that. Um, we have to have things, as you know, uh, our nurse, the, the nurses station, and we have the nurses from LA, USD, we have, um, uh, and, and all the things that they would need to, so that children have a successful and happy day. Um, and these these students, they're dancing. I think was this Greece? Do you remember? Was that when they did Greece? I can't remember. Yeah. But they were, they were just having a great time and they were, they were having fun there. Um, as you can see, this and these are uh, the the class together did their, um, you know, did their hand. It's called hand handshake. So in Los Angeles, they were spelling out different things with their fingers spelling. I thought that was really a pretty one. Um, <coughs> So after the festival, what we did was we, uh, the, the clean, uh, it, it's, it's magic, up until 12 o'clock. So the children arrive at 10 o'clock, and the buses come in, the buses and buses, as we said, it's about 6,000 people. And then at 1 o'clock, it's, it's just, suddenly it's over. And, but the cleanup and the tear down, tear down, we want to make sure that the artwork stays intact. This one got a little wrinkled, so I'm going to fix it up a little bit before I send it back to the teacher. So I thought, okay, well, I can bring this with, with us today. Um, this one is from, um, uh, from one of our students that they were, um, they were able to color the different pieces and then place them on there. And his was, I love, um, I love LA Zoo. And this was his, what they loved about the zoo and his koala and the tree. So each one of the students in her class did a different animal from the from, uh, from the zoo. So I thought that was quite quite precious that he did that. And I think he was, uh, I think he's in fourth grade. Yeah, he's in fourth grade. So uh, anyway, I love that one too. Um, so what's happening now is that. Uh, what I'm what I'm doing now is I'm delivering artwork. Everything that has been, everything that was left at the festival, and we're laughing because there's there's a lot, and um, and I'm it's it's again it's a it's very physical, and it's I don't I'm not writing in the office, but I'm writing around in my car because I want to make sure that the children get their artwork back. So I'm making sure that the, that the children who work so hard on, on what they did get their pieces back. It seems like it should be an easy thing, but it really isn't because there's so many different entities. So some of our things went to LA Unified and some things went to us. But, um, but it all works because the teachers don't really have the time to get out of their classroom and um, to come and get them. So that, that all works. So, what's, um, so now what we're doing is we're all writing between the three um, the collaboration of the three agencies, what we're doing is we're all writing our own assessment of what worked, what didn't work, um, what we would like to, uh, to have things a little better. Last year was that I wanted the stage thing to move a little faster, and I was really happy with that this year, so I'm going to continue that, maybe do a bit more trainings on stage, because that didn't cost anything, because we're talking about money, too. We don't have any money, <laughs> and that was a great statement this morning, but the wonderful thing about about the music and and that piece of it is that I don't have to hire anyone. I can do that one myself. So that's so that's uh, that's really great. And I can actually go to their classrooms, which was also a joy to go and help the teachers plan a show for the event. Um, so that's probably my my big thing. And then I also want to find a better way to organize the whole drop off and and pick up of the art. However, the, the the transportation will have their own issues. Logistical people will have their issues, and um, the music center will have different issues because now we're going to block that area. We're not. I, I don't think we're going to be in the same area we've been in for 32 years. It's moving out to the um, in front of between Disney Hall on, at, on the outside. So we have to worry about how are we going to get the wheelchairs uh, in and out and everyone happy. So so it's it's a lot of work. It's a year of planning, but it's really a wonderful time. And planning of the 32nd, that's actually happening now. We have a lead. We've already sent out the emails to get to get working on, on this. Um, some of these are samples of the teachers. These are not, this is not student work. Um, 
this this one in particular, uh, we talk about shading and and uh, and different ways for the teacher to create and learn how to how to shade um, different uh, textures, different techniques, and rubbings and different things they could take to their classroom and. Because the reason why we keep we, we keep with this teaching artist is that we have the teachers are so thrilled with the work that he's done that he uh, that they want they want him back because they're able to do these things in their classroom. So if they like that, then so do I. And and they give me a little bit of money for that from from our uh, division of special uh, special ed. They get they get a little money for training for him. Um, so again, going back to a little bit, this is this is one of our first workshops. Um, this he works with in, emotionally um, ML Co. Um, this teacher is fantastic. Works close by and he has uh, uh, mostly um, Down syndrome kids, high school, high school, and elementary school. And so what they're doing again, they're learning what they uh, how to be artists on the road. It's easier to share once they're able to, to do this. Uh, I'm a musician, so so this is so I would actually sit in these workshops so I can learn so I can be better at it because you know I want I want it to be <laughs> I'm not all that great at it. Um, the thing that was special, I think, I just please want to interject. The thing that was really special about these workshops, I went to um, a couple of these workshops, is that the teachers were so excited to have the supplies and to have the just to, to gain the knowledge, they were doing positive negative space, and they were learning tinting and shading, they were doing things that, that they hadn't done before, and so they were able to transfer that information directly into their classrooms and, and adjust it to, to meet the needs of the students that they had. And I, I just, they were just so happy themselves. Yeah. They, they were just overjoyed to be, to be learning these, these techniques. It was, they were happy workshops. They were, um, happier than I think even just regular ed workshops because the teachers really felt like they were learning some important uh, techniques for the for visual art. And thank you for bringing that up because um, I'm I guess because of, of the time and I'm trying to go over things but I'm my joy is so you're, you're right I mean, they, it was just it, they're just so much fun and it makes me want to do more and more for them um, again they're these are teachers that and, and then the specific questions they have and the specific needs of the students are things that I personally wouldn't be able to address because I haven't I haven't worked with some of the population. But this teacher that we hired to do workshops for the, for the visual arts does. And that's and that's what makes it really really wonderful. So he's been great. He supports the workshop every I mean the festival every year and has come for a few years now. Um, the music workshop, that was fun this year. What I did is I opened it to all of the teachers. Uh, both my uh, juvenile uh, court schools, as well as my uh, as well as my uh, special needs students, but I'm finding that next year that's the one that I'm going to add for next year, uh, and because maybe we could do a drum circle uh, for their stage performance or do something fun uh, like that. Theater workshop um, that was that was new this year, and again that was teaching them how to bow, uh, something so simple as you know one two three down, up. and then I'd go to the classrooms and we would try that and. And we had a couple of students, as you know, sometimes that that they can get a little out of hand and yell at each other. And uh, it's happened a couple of times, but it's, but it's great, and they're patient, and they're great, and their show their show came out really wonderful. And uh, so we had fun. And the more they see me in their classrooms, when I can get out there, the more they trust me, and the more the more fun we have, which is which is really fun because I like I like that aspect of it. So again, for me next year, I'll, I'll be adding. I'll make sure that I. That I hit all of those, and the theater, and I, I meant to—I don't know why I forgot to put it on there—is um, also also dance because I whatever was happening on the stage, and that was also there. But I, that was my fault. Sorry, <laughs> forgot to put that on there. And that's our ending. That's our. <laughs> that was, that was, so that was right at the end of the festival. So I wanted you to see uh, the collaboration between the two of us and the music center, but. Um, this is the stage, this is one side of the stage, and we're facing, I'm the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, and there's the stage, and then there's the other side of the stage. And the way they have it set up, it's so professional that you can't hear. If you're here, if you're hearing what's on this stage, you could be standing right there, and it's not even bothering you. And and the, the smiles and the faces of, of the children are, are just are just wonderful. What I'd like to do is really quickly is maybe go through your loop again, and and to point out some of the things that we talked about, and then I'll give you a chance to maybe look through the curriculum or workshop. But yeah, these are some of the things there. But this was just one of the well, one, one of the many.
And these are the rubbings that, that are so easy for our children to do. And if you, I mean, they even talk about, I mean, they take the bottom of their shoe and, and find that, or crates from the, the you know, grates from the floor. Um, and, and teachers always leave with goodies when they come to my workshops because I am the queen of finding, getting parents to do favors and uh, donating things, whatever it is, stickers or the Nair catalog. You know, if you haven't, uh, that's all free, you should get the shipping. So whatever they give me, I send to the teachers. So these are just different samples of some of the, the, um, the, the art um, workshop. I don't know. It, Tons of it'll, just it'll, it'll, it'll go into the... It'll go into the festival? Yeah. Okay. She actually makes jewelry, but she didn't make anything. Yeah, and then this... Um, uh, again, one of the students, a lot of them did the I Love LA sign, and that was great. Like, as a group, they'd get and, and glue things together, and it, it was just really um, a fun time for the classroom to get excited about, about the event. But when, when we see the pictures, I'm going to hear it. That's so this cool. is a beforehand. That's what I was telling you about. It's like, okay, it's nice. It's a nice little day in LA. It'll be pretty. It was a beautiful day. And then there's just some this is Oh, and then this was this was a big theme this year. We did a, um, that was one of the uh, things that we taught in the workshop, and a lot of the teachers did it. Our LA skyline. Now kids don't come in. Uh, sports. This and look how and they're so proud of their own work. But that was all about the sports. Uh, class, a whole class put this together. These two pieces wow. together, and as as a class. So the teacher, it's all about the teacher, <laughs> but, but it's wonderful because they. What LA, LA do? LA do. Yeah. All what LA means to me. I've been in this classroom. I love all the. This is for one classroom. It was a combined effort. That was really a sweet day. That was signing, wasn't it? They were doing mm -hmm. signing. And performances uh, all day long. Oh, there's there's the LA blank. Mm -hmm. And and that in that class the students. The teacher, I mean, she's, this woman is amazing. I mean, she talks, like, she, she took them all through the royal wedding and, you know, this, like, and she's wearing her bling that she got the Diana ring and the, you know, Princess King ring, you know, and, and the students just love it. So here's one side of the stage. And these are all, I think, our Dr. Do Blue, L.A. That's the other side, side of the stage. Yeah. They were, like, back to back, mm -hmm. so. Had they each had a stick. And each of these little um, tables has a craft going on. Um, so the students are able to do things. So some spe some non-special needs students were there, um, and did, they don't even know. <laughs> and it takes, and this is their time to shine. They feel like absolute stars. Oh, this was, this was the classroom where the kid yelled. Okay, yeah, but it's great. They love me, and I love them. Okay, so we built a train because we wanted to go through the um, stopping in LA at different places. And there's the teacher. She's actually with them because they they need the guidance. That's great. And uh, yeah, that's great. So this just gives you a little snapshot of 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 the of the fun part of the day. That's probably our ending. No, it isn't. Oh, it isn't? I, mean, I think there's more. I think, well, maybe it is. Yeah, so, yeah. um, now? Oh, yeah. This is, and these are just some of the artworks. So, again, it was a very special day. So, I, again, we, as I said, this is not a part of the assessment piece, but I wanted to show you. Oh, this was, this is a great piece. This was a grant from CVS, and each one of these is a booklet from each of the students about Los Angeles. And they, the teacher worked with them for six weeks to put together a booklet of why they love LA. Uh, this is a uh, classroom uh, project where each child got to, be, you know, to do something. And there they are. They're, they're people in the community. And then our uh, <laughs> displays outside. And they're just so happy to, to everyone celebrating them. These guys have been there every year. And so, um, and I love the song that you chose, You've Got a Friend in Me, because that's what it's all about. The teachers, the teachers are such wonderful friends, friends of these children and of their educators. My heart... I, I, I do more with our educator conferences now. Um, I present um, 
to them every every year. We do we, we do music activities, theater activities, we do everything. So, um, if I'm okay, are there any questions? Yeah. yeah. Just a question. Do we have questions? Well, please take these, use them, and, and you're welcome to use question them. Here. Yes. Um, and then well, people oh. have things to share, too. Oh, please, um, yes. First of all, it, it's wonderful. And, and I yeah. love the range and scope of the projects. Thank you. Um, so just a very specific question on the plates, which are, are yes. stunning. Um, how how do you glue it so that the, the, the glue <laughs> is not apparent on the inside? Okay, I'm very excited to share this. So <laughs> all it is is wrapping paper, everything, and the, the liquid starch that I get is smart and final. You just slop it all over. The kids get nice and messy. You um, slop it all over. Then you put your your whatever whatever this is on there. And then and then after that's done, then I then I control it though. Then I give them their their tissue paper color of their choice. They slop it all on. They get nice and dirty. And then um, I put just one little sheet, usually like these. I think these were from IKEA. These um, come with it, or I just use plain white paper to kind of. And, and that's it. And then the next day, just don't, just don't wet them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and and they and they stay. And I do this also with my juvenile court schools on um, the plastic frames. Although they're not as pretty on the plastic, but it does work. But frames work great because then they then they actually have a frame. You can just set them up like that. But uh, yeah, the, it dries clear. And they also say that the that the white glue mixed with water works okay. as well. 50 50. But 50 50. But I like, but but if you, the starch. I mean, for five dollars or whatever, yeah. huge thing. And I give it to the teachers. I mean, that when I when I'm done, I'll go do a lesson. I'll give them that that big gallon lasts forever. One of my most favorite days at work was cutting tissue paper with Tina in, yes. the, in the conference room and yeah, putting it in baggies. You know, separating the colored baggies out. Yeah. 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 But I was thinking too because I didn't want the teachers to do all the work. I wanted to. This is the time, as I said, the time of year where where I where I get to, to work for them. So anyone have any stories to share about that, or, or tips for me? <laughs> so uh, you see it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for saving me.